हेलो एवरीवन आई एम लोकेश एंड वेलकम बैक टू दी चैनल फ्रेंड्स ओनली थ्री डेज आर रिमेनिंग फॉर द एन एग्जाम फ्रॉम टू अप्रैल एन एग्जाम इज शेड्यूल फॉर द 2022 बैच एंड द एग्जाम इज कॉल्ड द फर्स्ट राउंड ऑफ इन्फोसिस सर्टिफिकेशन एग्जाम क्वालिफायर राउंड एग्जाम सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस द हाउ टू क्रैक क्वालिफायर राउंड इन फर्स्ट अटैम्प विथ लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन लाइक क्वेश्चन लेवल which language is easy common mistake less time how to prepare but this video is quite different from previous one because in this video we uh, we know that what are the pro tips to crack nfitq exam because important to know that some of the point that are related to the nfitq certification exam so in this video i consider 5 to 6 point and this is the second part uh, after this video Uh, on 31st march i upload the last part for the pro tips to crack infitq exam that are related to the important point but this video is also very important because we have to discuss the five to six main important point the first point is approach to solve questions in less time uh, because uh, time is one hour and question is 40 so what is the approach for solving question in less time any software installation for the exam or what about login details and query no one got any mail from the infosys for the login details and query how to check system compatibility system compatibility is very important to ensure that your system is compatible for taking the exam for giving the exam or not rules for of the exam what are the some rules and regulation of exam any sectional cut off in nfitq exam that uh, uh, what are the some uh, any sectional cut off is present or not in the nfitq exam so let's start the video and discuss all the points one by one so what is the first point the first point is approach to solve questions in less time so friends understand the point very clearly there is a one hour okay you select you select either java or python and there is a same section called dbms and aptitude okay so there are 20 questions of java or 20 question of python means 20 question of both programming language you need to choose one from them okay so what are the number of questions in dbms dbms number of question is 10 and aptitude number of question is 10 okay so total 40 question and the time is only 1 hour so what is my approach for solving the problem as i discussed in the previous video that i only solved 35 to 30 question 30 to 35 questions because it is important to ensure that there is a negative marking in qualifier round so uh, what is my approach to solving the questions i divided the sections in three part that is uh, some divided like uh, i divided my programming language in one part like uh, my programming language is python that i choose python programming language and dbms and aptitude okay so what is my approach to solve the programming problems dbms section aptitude section in given time because time is 60 minute and we need to solve the 40 questions in the particular time 60 minutes okay so uh, there are the 20 questions in the particular sections of programming like python and if you select java so there are the questions of java my programming language is python so there are 20 question of python dbms 10 questions are present and the aptitude 10 questions are present okay so in the case of dbms only 10 questions are present and in the case of aptitude only 10 questions are present so what is my approach i first only uh, in the 15 minutes starting 15 minutes i solve with the aptitude questions first because it is important to complete the aptitude section first because it is some uh, bit some tricky and some logical aptitude uh, Uh, reasoning also present reasoning questions are also present in the aptitude section so i uh, my approach is solve the particular 10 questions in 15 minutes only then i move to the python section in which from 25 minutes to 20 minutes okay i take the 25 minutes for solving the python questions because there are the some three different or two different part that are given in the programming section like itself programming language also data structures using algorithm also and object oriented programming also so there are the some uh, combining questions in the in this section so i just take the 25 minutes for the python section so first 15 minutes for the uh, aptitude section and 25 minutes for the python section 
एंड देर आर ओनली लास्ट ट्वेंटी मिनट्स आर रिमेनिंग फ्रॉम दी सिक्सटी मिनट्स ओनली बिकॉज दिस इज दी फोर्टी फोर्टी मिनट्स आर गिवन इन दी एप्टीट्यूड एंड दी पाइथन सेक्शन ओके सो एप्टीट्यूड इन दी एंड दी पाइथन सेक्शन सो वॉट अबाउट दी डी बी एम एस फॉर दी डी बी एम एस आई जस्ट सॉल्व दी क्वेश्चन इन पर्टिकुलर लास्ट ट्वेंटी मिनट्स बिकॉज एस क्यू एल क्वीरी नीड सम मोर टाइम टू सॉल्व दी क्वेश्चन सो बिकॉज एट वॉट आई वॉट आई सॉल्व दी क्वेश्चन एट दी लास्ट ऑफ डी बी एम एस वाई आई सॉल्व दी क्वेश्चन ऑफ डी बी एम एस एट दी लास्ट बिकॉज दिज आर दी सम क्वेरी क्वेश्चन एंड एट दी टाइम इन ऑन दी फोर्टी क्वेश्चन आई जस्ट सॉल्व मोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम थर्टी लाइक इन दी फर्स्ट फोर्टी मिनट्स ऑफ दी एग्जाम आई सॉल्व थर्टी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दी एप्टीट्यूड सेक्शन एंड फ्रॉम दी पाइथन सेक्शन सो माई माई चांसेस फॉर सिलेक्टिंग ऑन क्वालिफायर राउंड वुड बी हाई इफ इफ आई सॉल्व दी क्वेश्चन इन बिटवीन थर्टी टू थर्टी फाइव बिकॉज इन माई टाइम आई ओनली सॉल्व फोर्टी क्वेश्चन आई ओनली सॉल्व थर्टी फाइव क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम फोर्टी क्वेश्चन बिकॉज एज वी नो दैट देर इज नो कट ऑफ देर इज नो कट ऑफ दैट यू नीड टू सॉल्व दी ऑल दी क्वेश्चन और यू नीड टू सॉल्व दी थर्टी टू थर्टी फाइव क्वेश्चन बट एट दैट टाइम वी वी प्रिडिक्ट द एक्चुअल नॉट द एक्चुअल कट ऑफ दैट बिकॉज इन्फोसिस टीम नॉट डिस्कलोज द एक्चुअल कट ऑफ ऑफ द इन्फिटिक्यू क्वालिफायर राउंड एग्जाम सो इफ वी प्रिडिक्ट दैट इफ वी सॉल्व दी पर्टिकुलर 25 uh, 30 25 to 30 correct question we will be select and uh, if you need to uh, you need to solve the 30 to 35 questions because there is negative marking also so you need to solve the questions from all the sections so this is my approach to solve the problem in last time that i divide the time in particular that i divide the section in particular time and solve the questions by one by one each so this is my approach for solving the questions okay solve questions in last time there is a second point that what is the second point any software installation what about login details and query so there is no need of install any software as in my time i just received mail from the infosys certification team for the registration of qualifier round in which i just received a url that you can see on the screen and there is user id and there is one time password in which the examination date examination time are mentioned and what are about the examination content that i select and this is the examination guideline that are attached in this below this is the some examination guideline that is important to assure this is not the mail for the 2022 batch it is my time mail uh, it is the mail that i received on uh, on the uh, february 2020 uh, for february 21 2020 at my time at my time exam okay so this is the registration for qualifier round that is the mail that is given the particular following details that are important you just uh, not need to install any software you just go to this link and uh, you need to type the one time password and user id then you will start the exam okay so if we don't know the what are the actual some changes in the upcoming uh, mail that are sent by the infosys team for the 2022 batch so i uh, i made uh, i made video on that topic that uh, whenever uh, uh, any received the mail for the infitq certification qualifier round registration so i make video and discuss all the points that are given on the particular mail okay so third point is how to check system compatibility system compatibility is very important to ensure that your system is compatible for uh, taking the exam or not or you need to give uh, so uh, go to the infosys certification exam page and in this you find the infosys certification exam page and there is the fourth point like check your system compatibility here to appear for the infosys certification exam because if you not select the particular infosys certification exam system compatibility it is important to ensure that you will not give the exam from this system or the system that uh, you have uh, uh you have used currently because without the system check the exam will not started so it is important to ensure that the system is totally compatible and this and you can see that this is the message that you all are said or to go for the infosys certification on this system all the best so there are the some different criteria that check the system uh, check for the infosys certification like chrome version 70 and above you need to update your google chrome version what is internet speed webcam hardware check and device compatibility okay so this is the some important system check you need to check system uh, before uh, the giving the exam okay 
so what is the fourth point the fourth point is i made two id or i made two account and uh, done registration from one account but due to some silly mistakes uh, i not uh, use the previous one and i made another account and do registration again so if there is an impact on future exams like on final round exam or advantage round exam okay so there are the some silly mistakes that are uh, that are some silly mistakes that uh, from the uh, wrong information or we fill the uh, uh, wrong information in the particular field so there is no impact at all in the future because uh, don't use the previous one id only give the exam from one id and this id will all the continue in the final round and advantage round because it is important to ensure that if you give the exam from two id so it comes under mal practices and you will immediately disqualify from the infosys certification exam so don't worry if you made two id just only give the exam from one id and don't use the previous one don't use the uh, don't open the previous one okay just give the exam from one id only and this id is confirmed id from your uh, from yours and uh, you need to give exam from that id so last point is any sectional cutoff in nftq no friends there is no sectional cutoff in nftq exam that uh, if you solve the 20 questions correct from the python and 10 questions from dbms not solving any questions of aptitude you are selected that is very wrong point you need to solve all the you need to solve questions from each sections to ensure or to crack the exam in first attempt so it is important to know that there is no sectional cutoff in the nftq exam so in this video uh, we will discuss i discussed uh, we will discuss the some of the most important point that are pro tips to crack nftq exam and what is my approach there is need of software installation how to check system compatibility i made two id any sectional cutoff so these are the some important point in the next video and uh, the in the next video is the last part of the pro tips to crack nftq exam for the qualifier round because there are some lot of queries that uh, already i discussed in the previous video but there are some more query that uh, i discussed in the next video so if you have any doubt just uh, ask your drop uh, drop your query in comment section and i hope your preparation is very well and just uh, practice uh, the uh, previous year questions that i given on the blog uh, website link i share the uh, link in the description of my blog just go to blog and download all the previous questions that is given for the java i share some resources on telegram group you need uh, you can check from that if you have any doubt just ask in the comment section thanks for watching the video